So you're welcome to the tutorial. So over here, uh, the, the, the whole reason for this tutorial is to help you um, customize and edit your, your blogging site. Now this blogging website was created with um, a team they call Genius. So I'm going to take you step by step how to customize. Last time we did a little bit of the heading and we're able to change the the header that the, the logo there we're able to use text to create a logo pending when um, the original logo will be available so let's come to the front end of this site so coming to the front end of this site we can see that this is the home page this is feature movies uh, video sorry and this particular site is known as a vlog and the major major the this particular template has to do majorly on um, video content and also text content anyway so as you can see this is the header we did a bit of the header last time this advertisement uh, advertisement smart advertisement anyway this is where you can put ads on your own that people can come to you and say please uh, can you advertise on my uh, on your site can you advertise my business on your site i'm going to give you this and that so this is where you put the ads or if you have a google adsense account you put it there but that's for later over here this is these are all the blog posts and you can edit them directly from here you can edit them individually from here you can click here to edit them okay but we're not going to do that now okay we'll do that later as you can see there are different categories okay so the first thing i want us to do is to create a structure of our site because all this came with the websites with the teams the templates we, we we choose so i want us to first of all start let's create a hierarchy for our site a category as category structure so to do that let's go over to um, this part where the name of the website is written, then we'll go to dashboard. So over here on the dashboard, um, we we'll head on to the post. Now the post this is where all your articles will be written. Every article you write, even the pictures and the videos you have seen on the front end. This is where it starts from. So if I put my mouse here, I'll see all posts. I'll see add new, I'll see category, I'll see tags, podcast, series, and the rest of it. So all posts has to do with all the posts you have written. Add posts, add new, I mean, I, I, I'm sorry. It means to add new posts. Category is to create a structure for all your posts. In per adventure, you're writing a post about uh, interview. And you have another one, uh, you have uh, another set of... Um, uh, post you want to write that's talking about gossip and the rest of it under this category structure is where you now create a category structure that that will align every of your posts uh, library let me use that word library for all your posts so if private somebody is navigating to your site and, and uh, decide to click on interview it will now bring up all your posts that has to do with interview so I'll show you how to integrate it quickly so let's click on first of all let's click on Categories Okay, so on that category we can see all the category that was pre-created Now if you see this and you see that you don't like them you want to delete them. Let me tell you what you do You just come over here click All these then come over here and Click delete and apply everything here will be deleted but if private chain say okay, I want to delete specific items here, I said to just uh, I can just come over here and just click delete this or delete that, you see, and uh, it will delete. Or if I want to select some groups, few groups of um, items I want to delete, I can come over here and see click delete, uh, apply, and that'll be done. But if you say you want to add the category from scratch, let's say I want to add category about business. Let me say business. 
let me see there's business here already uh, okay there's nothing about business here so let's create something about business business the slug you leave it empty because the slug will auto generate the name by itself and if parental you want to make this a child under another you want to make a subcategory this way you're going to select it subcategory means if parental you are talking about um let me see um if you are talking about interview for instance now and then uh, you have different interviews you create for different uh, uh different niche okay maybe you are creating interview for people uh in the movie industry you are creating interview for people in the business industry and you want to categorize them that way you can you can say um i'm creating interview then on that interview i have other interviews for movie star i have interviews for uh, music artists i have interview for business people Th those are three i mentioned so to do that i can now say okay let me create a subcategory on that interview because interview is there now i can decide to say business interview just for instance i'm just showing you business interview and i'll select interview here so what happened is that this category will now be subcategory under business interview so means interview is a parent of all of them so this is important if you are now your blog has now got to the level where you have so much uh, posts and um, uh, you just want to laser target your niche you want to narrow down your niche on this interview so okay, I want to go into interview for movie star. I want to narrow it like that. So that's when you use parent category. But otherwise, you can just leave it like that. I don't know if it's clear. If any question, let me know. Then over here is uh, the description. So I can give a brief description. It's optional, but it's good for SEO anyway. You have keywords. You can put it there. And you can just say a little thing about what this particular category is all about. But I'm going to leave it that way. And I'll say add new category. So that being done, if I come over to the right hand side, I'm going to see business, 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 business. Where is business? See, I actually made a mistake. I actually made it a subcategory of this. Okay. So that is why it's under interview. So let me do that again. Let me just quickly edit and undo what I did. Okay. So this is what I did. I, I made it a um, parent category of interview, but I don't want to make it a parent. Um, a subcategory so i'll put it at none and i'll click update so this is basically how to create a category you can also cut you can also create a category from the um, post section so if i want to go back to all the category i click back go to categories then i'll see all the categories i've created so nice categories will help me arrange my work better so when i'm writing posts about movies or design i can just easily tag them connect them to each of the categories they belong just like a library you know where you go to a library you get a part where you see for education place for mathematics uh, a section for fictional i don't know for storybooks and the um, novels and the rest so that's the same thing here on your site you can create a category and when you write a post you allocate them to the category they belong all right that being said now you know how to create a category to so the next i want us to go to all post all post all post all post i click all post now you know this team came with already imported um templates and posts the essence of it is so that um, the site you can see the beauty of the site and if i make sure you see all these posts you say i don't like this post i want to get rid of them i'll click all click this part then i'll repeat the same thing i did in category section i say move to trash and apply that's fun to delete all the post otherwise i'll leave it the way it is so these are all the posts that was created that came with the template okay so what if i want to create my own post what am i going to do so i'll just come and click add new post i'll come over to say add new post here so let me just come quick and say add new post here then i'll select the post no your post might be pre-written and the rest of it or if you have a video content you can also integrate it. it means you have made the video content before now so what i'm going to do is that let me come over here let me find some content while it's loading then it's a bit slow 
let me come over here and just get uh, let me say interview with Dangote. No, I'm just getting this content. Please don't do this. It's good for you to write your article from scratch, but just to to show you how it works. Okay, let me click this. I just want to copy these articles and just for demonstration purpose. So this is the interview and everything they said. So I'll say I'll come over here and let me copy all this. Copy, copy, copy. Copy, copy. It's good for you to write yours. Write yours, please. Write your interview yourself and make your videos yourself. Yes, you need to do that. So I don't know. Smiles is just hyperactive. I don't understand. Please forgive me. I need to do it again. The mouse is hyper, 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 hyper active. Down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll up again. Let's stop here. Right click, copy, and I'll come over here to paste it. So let's do that right now. While it's still loading, 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 loading. Okay. So now this editor is what they call a block editor. Okay, it's not looking beautiful, it's looking confusing. Actually, it's the most recommended editor because it helps it helps the responsiveness of your blog, irrespective of the team, based on my own experience. So it's not really good, but it's a bit complicated for new bees. So it's called a block editor, but in case you don't like this, uh, later on uh, on another video I can show you how to get another editor. I call it classic editor. Because that's actually the first editor that um, WordPress had before they brought this one. So this part they say heading. So all we need to do is to get the heading. So let me come over here and get the heading. Uh, get it clear. The heading of this. Oh my God! What just happened? Some kind of an error. Okay. The big interview with Aloki Dangote. Okay, let me just call it the big interview with Aloki Dangote. The big interview it dangote let me put dangote there okay no dangote dangote okay so this is the heading so underneath if you want to add other elements like the um another paragraph beneath pictures images all i need to do is to Come here to press, press plus uh, this plus um, icon. As I click here to ask me which block do you want to add? Is it paragraph? Paragraph means do I, do I want to add more words? Um, images is when I want to add images. This one to uh, when I want to add videos. So let's say uh, first of all, I want to add the video at the top. Or oh, before we do that, let's just add our words because I just copied some words from this website. So let me just choose paragraph quickly. Okay. Paragraph, so I'll come over here and control V, or I can just right click and press uh, click and paste. Okay, this is the interview looking good, looking good. Please, I don't know why it's telling me offline. X out, okay, so this is the interview here. Yeah. Complete interview. And if you notice, each of them, each of the spaces in between can accommodate a fresh block. Look at it. You can press plus to add block. So just put your mouse there. It will tell you. If you put your mouse there to tell you or you click. Okay, let me click here. Each of the spaces is supposed to have a place to add another block. Look at it. If it doesn't appear, you put your mouse there to appear. If it still doesn't appear, you can click in between. That section it will appear or it will give you this then this can also aid you can just click here to choose the options uh, if you want to add or duplicate or to remove the block the paragraph entirely okay so now I want to add a, a picture an image at the head 
or should I add an image, 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 image? Okay, so let's go back to this article. So I'll come over here and I'll copy this image. Right click, save image. <clears throat> and I save. I'll come over here back. I'll save the image and also uh, I would like um, some videos about this interview. Let me see if I just get a random video. So I'll go backwards. And I'll come over to videos, 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 videos. Okay, these are YouTube videos. I need specifically to use YouTube videos. So I'll click this. Okay, so now I'm just using this for demonstration. On your own, you need to make your own interview, have your own uh, uh, base slow. But I won't have to wait for it to finish loading. This is just what I want the link. So I'll copy this link right away. Sorry, I don't know what is appearing. Copy the link, copy. Then I'll come over here. I'm going to use it, but not now, though. Oh, okay, I'm going to use it, but first of all, I want to add my image at the top. So I want this image to be directly beneath this heading. So I come over and click, just click around the spaces in between. Um, I'm having a little bit of a network. Okay. So it's showing me a block. No, I don't want it there. Okay, what I'll do is that I'll just come to this setting and click enter. And then that block will appear beneath. That's just another way of doing it. So I want you to take notes. So I click plus this amount to add an image. So I come over to image. I click image. Now it's asking me, do I want to upload from my laptop or do I have the image in my website or I have a URL allowed to get the image from? So I'll just go to upload. I just downloaded one recently. Uh, to I click upload, to take me to where on my device. Let me go. I think it's under downloads, and I'll just pick Dangote and Buya. It appears here. So simple, isn't it? So this is it. If I wanted to cover the entire space, now the bigger, I can come over here and drag and do whatever I want to do, drag and the rest. But um, basically, let me just leave it that way. So the next I want to do is that I want to add a video on top. So I can just come over here, click the end of this part, I click enter to take me to the next box, and I say, okay, I want to add a video. I'll come to this plus. I click plus. Then I put a video. Then I click here and I paste the link. So if you notice what I did is that I chose a YouTube video. Okay. If you want to choose another type of video, maybe you have a video offline, you can do that by selecting the video. But this one I just chose a YouTube video URL. That's because I'm collecting the video from YouTube and it's highly recommended to do that so that your site will be a bit faster when it's loading up. So I click embed. So it should appear here. Yes, my video should appear. If it doesn't, it means uh, it's network or something. So let's just see. wait, 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 wait. It's showing. The network is poor, so. So this is it. So this is the video. That being done, if I'm done, I can click save, save it uh, to save my work, so I can continue from where I'm, from from where I stop next time, or I can just publish if I'm ready to go live. So to do other settings, like I want to add featured image. Featured image is actually the image you see before the article. Okay. Um, like when you go to the Daikaji blog or some of these blogs, the first thing you see, you first see the, the, the images, okay, on their home page, you see the images and some excerpts, like a little summary of what is inside, and then 
where you oh, click, letter, you get more details. We have I another think it's, iconic. Uh, okay, it's playing. African. Okay, that can shut up now. Okay, let me come over here to add some things. I click this um, gear icon. I'll see block. I'll see post. Let me go to post. Then I'll see other things. Please, some of all this, just leave there and come down to the categories. Now it's telling me choose the category in which this this uh, video belongs to. So I'll come over to interview because an interview. If you have a more uh, specific uh, category, you can choose that also. Or you say, I don't like this, I want to create my own category. You see a place to add new category, you can add a category from here also. Okay, so you know how to create category from two places either from the category stress section or you can do it from the post section. So I've added um, my category tag is. Actually, this is actually keywords associated with what you are writing, and uh, this is good for navigation, especially from visitors. So I can say uh, Danguti, Danguti, and I can use comma to choose the keyword Danguti. When I feature, I click comma Danguti. Um, I can say um, business. Sorry, business, not build. Okay. Business. Oh my god, what is happening? That's my mouse just falling my hand. Okay, business, then comma, then the next one I can put. Um, uh, what should I put? What should I put? What should I put? Interview. No, all these are associated with what you are writing about. You can pick more, this is just for. Um, it's just for demonstration, okay. So, featured image is the first image I'm going to see. So, naturally, I'm going to choose this one at the top here. So, I'll click set featured image. So, I'll use this. But you have another one you want to use, you can come to upload here, then upload it from your device. But over here, it's already inside the, uh, 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 the website. So, I'll click and make sure this place is tick. Make sure this place is turning blue. Then you set featured image. Okay, 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 that's it, that's it, that's it. Mm, I think that's all for now. Uh, this is looking pretty good. So when I'm done and I feel I'm done with all this, now you make this write up available before you start coming here to do it. It's not recommended for you to start writing your blog post inside the WordPress site. If you want to do that, there's nothing wrong in that. You can do that. But so specifically, I'll advise you to do it offline and bring it here. Okay. So I'm done. I click publish. Publish again. Okay, so my work is live. It says live repost. So I can click here, open another tab. You see, it's looking good. A big tab with mm -hmm. So that's how to add an article to your site. Next thing I want to do, the next thing I want to do, the next thing I want to do.